what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another 90 day fiance video and this one is all about patrick and thias and boy am i not happy with this guy honestly 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 if there was a time in life where someone could be so naive let me save that word but hey let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel now with that being said in yesterday's episode of 90 day fiance season 9 episode 8 thias expressed strongly once again how she wanted to live a life with just herself and patrick and to be fair because patrick is now moving from austin to dallas i'm pretty sure she thought that this would have been the perfect time, the perfect opportunity, and I can only understand why, to hopefully get John, to find, to hopefully get John out of the way, so therefore it can just be her and Patrick. But Patrick is ignoring to understand the situation. But hey, let me show you a cheeky little clip from yesterday, and then we'll get down into it. No, and then and then we'll break it down. Yeah. I don't like John to live with us in Dallas. I just want you to give him a chance. Nós estamos tentando. Eu não gosto. Você precisa resolver isso, ok? Eu vou resolver isso falando com John, ok? What am I supposed to say? I already said he could live with us. Amor, eu não tenho palavra. I mean, John's lived with me longer than we've been together. Amor, but he can live in a other house, and we live in our house. Having someone else to help me, especially right now, is going to make a big difference because I'm the one that has to do everything. You're like brand new to the country and you can't work. Right. Let me stretch out my arms and let me get involved. So, this is what Patrick is not understanding. And at least what I would like to assume Thais is trying to put out there without putting it out there. Now understand this. It is not easy for a woman to meet a man that she doesn't know, first and foremost. In today's society, most women, at least most women that I've come across, will always pin their location so their friends, family know exactly where they are at that time because they know they are meeting a stranger. Now, here's the thing. Patrick is not a stranger, but John is a stranger, at least the thighs anyway. And the matter of fact is no woman, and I like to think no human being, to be fair with you, would be looking to fly from one country to another country to end up living with her partner and his brother. Now, to be fair, that is something in particular is already a challenge itself alone. But then to also add into the picture that the brother that she's been forced, yes, forced to live with is a brother that at this moment in time has shown a sign of potentially being an alcoholic. I'm not saying he is, but he has shown us those signs. And also at the same time, he has also shown a signs of where he doesn't necessarily respect women because on the very first episode of her arriving, he wanted her to be in the kitchen straight away. So that shows where his head's at in terms of where he believes a woman belongs. And also on top of that, the brothers also made it abundantly clear that it is always going to be the three of us. It is never going to be just you two, it's going to be the three of us. And to be honest with you, that has very unsettling chills alone. And then also on top of that, the brothers done nothing to make Thais feel welcomed, but at the same time, we can say the same thing for Thais as well. But of course, those are for two different reasons. The brother, why he's making a difference with Thais is purely because he's not too sure on her based on how she has treated Patrick in terms of tracking his every movement when she was back home, which is understandable. But at the same time for Thais though, in her eyes, she's like, listen, I've come here to be with you and only you and not to be here with a third wheel that I don't even know. And also at the same time is giving me unnecessary vibes that's making me feel uncomfortable and also is somewhat seeming to have some sort of drinking issue and also at the same time is telling me that I should be in the kitchen or at least he didn't tell her that but at least that's what he said so at this moment in time if I'm a female what, what is going through my head 
the first thing going through my head is do i feel safe because right now i am feeling uncomfortable and another thing that's going through my head if i'm a female at this moment in time isn't only am i feeling safe is but well, why am i here to spend time with you and another man that i don't know you may trust your brother but i don't know him like that and since i've been he's done nothing to show me that i can trust him too because he's been nothing but just rude but again at the same time we can say the same thing for her so let's not forget that so this is the thing and this is the beef that i have with patrick patrick is ignoring the fact that it is not easy for any woman in this world or shall i say any feminine person in this world to go and stay with a stranger someone they, 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 that they do not know especially given the fact that they would have moved from one country to another country so even if there was a situation where she could even use like a, a pin location no one is going to be able to get on a plane quicker than one two three well no one's going to be able to get on a plane as quick as they are able to get into a car to come and see if she's okay that's not a possibility she doesn't have that option and then also on top of that on top of that on top of that right now originally she moved to austin i believe texas he's now getting her to move all the way to dallas texas so this is another issue he wanted her to stay with him in a location that she's never been in a surrounding that she, that she, that she doesn't know where she knows no one so the fact is if she ever was in a situation there's an emergency she doesn't know necessarily where the nearest shop is or xyz and now he wants her to relocate straight away within a what a couple of days maybe a week or so straight away into a whole new location in america a whole new location it may be in the same state but it's a whole new location where she's now going to have to find her feet again and at this moment in time like he just expressed just like he rudely expressed just now that she's not going to be working right now because she can't which is why he was out of order for putting that on her but he needs help <laughs> screw you and your help because at the end of the day you brought a woman into your life a woman that is young as well let's not forget that as well that, 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 that is a factor to a certain degree but the matter of fact is he brought her to this location where she knows no one and the fact is she's not working right now because she cannot which means that she's unable to at this moment in time make friends at a, at a working situation because i know a lot of women in this world sometimes purely get jobs when they don't need to because some women live with men that are happy to do xyz so some women end up getting part-time jobs or little jobs here and there purely because they want to have a socializing life they want to be able to com communicate with other people so they don't feel so lonely all the time being stuck at home all the time she doesn't even have that ability right now so god forbid john was to come home one day early and she was to stumble across him in one of his drunken moods i would be worried too i would be concerned too but patrick isn't thinking about this he's too busy thinking about himself thinking about his needs let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen the moment you get in a relationship with someone is the moment that you cannot look after that is the moment that you cannot think about your needs and only your needs that is the moment that you have to also put someone's needs in the way the only time that you put your needs in front of someone else in a relationship is if you're thinking about something that is going to better your career that is going to make you slightly happier and that person can support you but this isn't one of those situations of being supported or making you any happier this is those situations of just pure being naive and to be honest with you should we be surprised by his behavior and the reason why i say should we be surprised is well here's the thing we know that patrick has gone through a life journey where pretty much his whole family doesn't really speak to him anymore because he abandoned them at some point in his life because he was reaching stardom with his weightlifting malarkey and it does seem as and, and 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 which therefore explains why him and his brother become so codependent of each other so it tells me that when it comes to people skills patrick doesn't really have any his people skills are clearly not that great and patrick is probably another one of those i hate to say it but another one of those americans who thought i can't find no one here to tolerate my bs so let me just see if i can find someone from another country and they'll just have to put up with what i have because well i'm the breadwinner and i'm american i wouldn't be surprised if that was the mentality in his freaking head because at the end of the day his people skills his skills of reading the room is absolutely appalling absolutely disappointing and it's crazy because when this season first started i was thias is a problem a lot of people were like oh patrick isn't that bad 
Now I'm looking at it and I'm saying, hold on a minute, Patrick is that blind because that bad because he is clearly blind to read in the room because he has no skills of understanding the dangers he's putting this young lady in potentially or at least understanding her perspective of wanting to be with him and only him and not wanting to be with him and his brother because being with him and his brother was never a part of the plan and to be honest with you that is never going to be a part of anyone's plan unless you are in a polygamous relationship which obviously you wouldn't be in with your sibling unless that's a thing <laughs> i wouldn't want to be in that situation if you dig what i'm saying but then again though two twins <laughs> your boy wouldn't complain <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, though, let me know, ladies and gentlemen, I guess more importantly, the ladies, how would you feel if you was made to fly from one country to another to end up to then realizing that you're now living with your partner and his brother and his brother also potentially has a alcoholic issue. And also at the same time, he has shown you nothing but disrespect since you've been there. Fair enough. You've done the same thing, but your reasons are your reasons and his reasons are reasons but either way though you're the female who obviously needs to feel safe no matter what so i'd love to know what you think and also mandem let me know though if you was in this situation you as patrick would you be like yo bro you gotta bounce or would you be like nah bro you're here for life and she's gonna have to put up with it no matter what but interesting to see what people gotta say but nonetheless though thank you so much for your time ladies and gentlemen but as far as i'm concerned patrick is being naive he's being unfair and he's being unrealistic and if i was thias at this moment in time i would give up even trying even trying to convince him i would be getting that plane straight back to brazil because to be honest with you we know her daddy is waiting for her anyway because before she left she told her dad that she was coming back and she wasn't looking to move to the states and to be honest with you it's a good thing that she said that to him because the end of the day based on how their relationship is going if i was her i'll be looking to go back asap and to be honest she would have less to explain to her dad because if she was going and she told her dad she was never coming back because she's getting married then she'd have a few things to explain if you know what i mean but nonetheless though let me know what you were thinking and we'll talk about it like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the comment section peace